Hey, it's George, and today we will talk about counterfeiters. A queen game designed by Olivier Bourgeois, the French, the drawings are from Jan Otuli. I will tell you right now, it's one of my favorite games, and you will see why. In counterfeiters, the goal is to make the most real money by printing fake banknotes and selling them on the market. To play is to learn, to learn is to play, let's play. At the beginning of each round, the player who starts is the player with dark glasses. In this case, it's myself. I can place one of my pieces where I wish. There is, for example, the black market that allows me to buy different components. If I need a component to improve the quality of my notes, I can buy it on the black market. I can also buy a printer to print more bills, as well as other components to improve the quality of my uh, bills. But also special cards like the diner that will allow me, in this case, at the beginning of each turn, to exchange a fake banknote in my possession for a true one. I started, so I have twenty dollars. I'm going to buy a diner. I place my pawn on the corresponding spot and I pay the deal to the bank. I get my card. The card must be placed in front of me so that everybody can see it. The second player, the green, can carry out an action. He chooses to print notes in the printing house. For each printer, he can choose two fake notes of the corresponding quality. Since the green player only has one printer, he can only print two notes. With only one component, he can only print notes of quality one, of the most basic quality. The notes can be of different qualities. One for low, two medium, or three high. In our case, we can only produce notes of quality 1. Then, the pink player can decide to carry out an action. He can defraud the taxman and receive $30. Or defraud the taxman and put it here. He will receive the dark glasses and will be the first to play the next round. The blue player can now play. Go to the black market, defraud the tax department, print fake banknotes, or fly to the Caribbean. By doing so, he will be paying. Thirty dollars his ticket to put as much real money that he wants on his offshore account, or try to sell fake banknotes. The fans he can give up to eight counterfeit notes. Quality one will give him twenty real dollars. Quality two will give him thirty dollars, and the quality three forty dollars. If he wishes, he can also be placed on a supermarket box. This time, he can only exchange three bills per minion placed on the supermarket. Quality one, two or three doesn't matter. But be careful for each box action. Covered with a police cap, when this action is completed, the inspector have an advance once forward on its track. The position of the detective allows to see the progress of the game. With four players, it starts in this corner, with three players at this position, and with two players on the other side of the board. At first, the inspector has no effect on the game. Later, in this case, the godfather. Once the inspector is on the godfather, each person must give half of his real money to the bank. If you have real money on your offshore account, 
then it's not taken into account. It's safe. If you have counterfeit money, that doesn't count either. If the police arrive at this position, you cannot exchange fake notes to the supermarket with the quality one. Here, you cannot exchange quality two notes or lower at the supermarket. Here is the air controller's strike. As long as the inspector is on that spot, you cannot take a flight to put your money in safety. From this point on, you cannot exchange fake bills in the supermarket, regardless of their quality. The game ends on the Godfather spot, except, of course, if you have a special card that we will see later. So we continue this turn. I can decide to place an henchman again. I decide to print counterfeit notes. I print two counterfeit bills of quality one. I only have one component one printer. My diner only works at the start of the next round. I only get two counterfeit notes, which I place behind my screen. It is the green's turn to play. It also goes on the printing works. And print again. The pink ones choose to print also. Two printers means four notes of quality one. Always get the money first. Then move the detective. The blue buys special ink for thirty dollars. This allows him to have a higher print quality. This is the last turn of the first round. It is now all about converting our fake cash reserves. So I place it at the fence. I give two notes with a quality one. And so I get $40. The green also decides to exchange his fakes and goes to the supermarket. First of all, it receives the money. Two notes of one, she receives $150. Do not forget to move the detective afterward. The pink goes to the fence also. She has four notes of quality one. Two times four, eight. So she gets eighty dollars. The blue wishes to buy a special seal for twenty dollars. The blue has three different components, so he can print notes of the highest quality. And here we have completed the first round. Of course, the cards that are found here disappear, in this case there is none. The other cards move to the side and we draw new cards. It's important to do so before the start of each round. Everyone retrieves her or his minions. A round can start again, and now you know how it goes. So, to sum up, on the black market, you can buy private planes, with a private plane per person maximum. The result of the lotto, which gives you $50 at the beginning of each round, and therefore the equivalent of a diner without having to use counterfeit notes. 
A good lawyer allows the player who has corrupted him to move an henchman at the end of the game and perform the corresponding action. The lazy lawyer can do the same after the person who owns the good lawyer. No, the black market has no secrets for you. First trick I will give you is to print, print, print. Why? Oh, because the author says it. At the beginning of the game, you do not really have cash. So the first method to get real money is to print fake money. The second advice I give you, do not make good notes. The quality of the notes at the beginning of the game don't matter much. You can sell them at the supermarket even if you have a very low quality. So do not wait. Go directly to the supermarket. Try to get the most fake out. Of course, when you see that you can no longer use some fakes on the supermarket, naturally you have to invest in components to produce better banknotes. The third and last trick is about booking a flight. Sure, it's important in the game to put your money in safety, especially before the God's Father's turn. But at the beginning of the game, you do not have a lot of money. So do not book at the beginning of the game. Wait until you have a lot of real money before you go. Of course, there is a small problem with this technique. There are only three places, so if the three places are taken, it is up to you to manage that aspect. The first positive point is the simplicity of the game. You see that if we did a round, right, uh, we know all the action. So you can explain a round and everyone can play, no problem. No, let's say you forget something. Doesn't matter. The second positive point, the symbol. The symbols are on the board or on the card. There to help you. I love this kind of game. You do not need to look in the rules, you know. Another positive point. The inspector's track is different depending on the number of players. So there you have four players, three player track, and on the back you have a two player track. However, a bad thing. Track four is way too long. You see, it's very long and nothing happens at the beginning. I play with French, Germans, Belgian, Dutch, other people. When we get to this point, it's useless because everyone has a certain quality of note that is relatively high. And even if it's not the case, when you have four players, you have so many components on the black market that it's very easy to start producing higher quality notes in a very short time. But I have a solution for this. You see here we have an entire street that is not used. And my idea would be to put tracks or alternative tracks, for example for four players, three players, and it will also be the case for two players. Another negative point, unfortunately, is the real money. Why? Well, we have notes of tens and, and fifty. But the goal of the game is to collect the maximum amount of real money on your offshore account. What happens is that the bank will lose little by little the banknotes of 50, to a point where sometimes it will be very, very difficult to exchange notes with the banks. But I have a solution, which will solve this problem in a definitive fashion. 50% of the banknotes of 50 are removed and we will replace them by notes not of 100, not of 200, but 500. Why 500? Very simple. If I take 10 notes of 50, I have a 500 note. Thus, I will always have notes of 50 in the bank. If I take 10 times 50, I have a hundred dollars. Et savoir compter, compter sans reprendre, ne rien faire qu'apprendre, apprendre à compter. I can also escape the taxman. I suggest we play the game. And here we are.
It is already the end of this video, but you still have the opportunity to choose the next game I will present on my channel. You have the choice between Carson City, which is a strategy and bluff game that allows you to build your city in the American West, or Xanadu. You play the role of an apprentice architect, and you must present the best possible plans to Kublai Khan in 12,000. 1252 for the Summer Palace. Well, I hope you enjoyed it all. See you next time.